Hello everyone, this is HMOC and I just want to say thank you to all my old subscribers and welcome my new subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload videos. So today I had a little extra time and I'm not using my crock pot so I decided to try and do something with my failed pumpkin loaf. This is the first one that I made and failed horribly on. So let's see what I can do with this. Failed um, first pumpkin bar. So what am I going to do with this? Do I throw it away? What do I do? So I'm going to show you what you can do with a bar that looks or has behaved like this. So I have my crock pot here. It has about a cup of water in it and what I'm gonna do with my not so pretty loaf is I'm going to cut it up into chunks and you want to do this as soon as you decide it's not what you envisioned it to be because as it gets harder it's gonna be um, harder to of course cut it up so you want to cut it up into I would say one inch by one inch or thereabouts it just you want to melt this down so you can reshape so about that size and you just want to throw them in there and what's gonna happen is they're going to melt down basically like a mountain pour soap that's basically what you're gonna turn this into but of course, it's going to take a lot longer than nuking it in the microwave for like 30 seconds because of the cold process. And I'm going to make something out of this. And it smells great. It looks horrid. Maybe I should call it, I don't know. I know what I want to call it. So um, I'm going to see what it turns out to be after I finish this. And then I'm going to see if... I can get this to some sort of decent looking soap. So I'm going to cut up the rest of this loaf and I'm just basically just hunking it off here. Not even the yellow, the orange came out and putting it into my crock pot on low. My, all my soap cubed up and I'm going to set my crock pot on low and you just want to cube it up so it takes um, less time to melt down. I'm gonna put my top on it and basically much Leave it let it do its thing and melt up the Soap chunks. Okay, so this is what it looks like once it's completely melted. It looks just like um, a hot process soap I did add another cup of water to it about halfway through. It's probably been cooking for about three hours um, and I would just periodically come in here and just stir it so what I'm gonna do now is half it put pop um, orange and then maybe a little bit of green so we'll see how this works out my base in orange color and I've taken out a bit for the topping I'm gonna hopefully color that green or most of it green and it's behaving just like a hot process soap it's very fluid as a hot process soap would be. And I'm just going to put it into the mold I have, the one it originally came out of. So it should go back in here really nicely and we'll see when okay, I'm Okay, the soap is in. I was able to um, color that top portion a little green. So I've got a little green sort of a swirl in there. I am going to put this to bed overnight and see how it um, does in the morning and yeah it performed just like a hot process soap would and basically i did scent it a little bit more because once you cook it that fragrance um doesn't always stick so i've actually made it into another scent i've actually added a different scent instead of pumpkin because i already have a loaf and pumpkin i decided to make this one sort of a fall harvest it's got some apples in there and different things so this one is going to be fall harvest okay so here's the rebatch of that pumpkin eggnog the first batch that went awry um i can already tell i like the color i I'm not loving these um, molds. I'm really 
bolts and they're just too narrow maybe i should have just i don't know uh the jury's still out on the molds so whatever well one thing's for sure it's not sticking i did leave it in there an extra day i'm trying to think uh was it a day or two days um an extra two days because I just couldn't get to it. I, I'm doing other things and this is not a really big priority. And um, so, yeah. It is very easy to get out. Usually I would do a crinkle cut on this. And I like the color. The coloring came out so nice for fall harvest. Yeah. A little bit of green swirled in there. A little bit of the orange just coming through and a little bit of the browns well the natural base color that it was so I'm gonna get this cut up and we see what we have inside I did decide to crinkle cut it I was gonna do just a straight cut on it but I'm um, like it's a hot process and I'll do it the way I normally do my hot process so I'm do a crinkle cut on it oh I like that oh that looks so the top has a little bit of the green in there oh, I'm so excited so from my failed attempt at doing pumpkin eggnog came for harvest because I added in some other scents because when you hot process it that scent will go away slightly you can still smell the pumpkin but I've also added some apple and to make it full harvest and I really like that little bit of green swirl in there there's a bit of green on the top as well and yeah so this was from my failed attempt first at pumpkin harvest um yeah pumpkin there came a full harvest so I'm going to get the rest of this cut up and get it in the curing rack because it needs to be cured ASAP. It'll be ready for our event in just a little over six weeks. We post where we're going to be on our Facebook page if you want to go over there and see where we're going to be at. I'm really happy with this outcome even though it started off as a fail it has turned into and I I don't know I don't know if I'm liking that I mean I guess I like that shape it's so hard to work with it being tall like that to get it to pour in and I don't want to have to buy more but anyway but I do like that kind of shape so that is Fall harvest. A little bit of green, like that one. I like that one. It's got a little bit of green on the top. So that's fall harvest. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and click that notification bell to be notified when I upload videos. Thanks again and have a great day.